Hi, this is Mel Wolverson with IT Training at the University of Missouri. Today I'm going to talk about Gantt charts and how to change the dates. Here we have a simple Gantt chart with the data on the left, the start dates, and the end dates for the various different events within our larger event. On the right hand side, you see the Gantt chart with the start and end date at the top. What has been asked is, how do I change the dates on my content over on the left and have them update with the chart on the right. The first thing I recommend is go ahead and update the data on the left. From there, you'll need to select the axis that contains the dates in the chart. You'll then need to right click on that and select Format. That will open the Format panel. Once the Format panel is open, make sure that at the top it says Format Axis the part we're concerned with is the minimum and the maximum. That's the part we need to change. The minimum will contain the first date and the maximum will contain the last date. On my data, you can see that I have the minimum and the maximum set up in a formula right down below the regular data. But I want to show you how to do this without that. So first of all, select the first date. Then go up to your formatting on the Home tab and select Number. Copy that number then make sure you have the format axis selected still over on the right. Highlight the minimum and place that number in the minimum box. You're going to do the exact same thing for the last date of your content. And then your chart should update automatically. Don't forget to then go back, select your minimum and your maximum dates, and reformat them back as dates rather than showing as numbers. Again, I'm Mel Wolverson with IT Training at the University of Missouri. Click subscribe to check out our other cool videos.